In this video, we are going to learn about semiconductors and discuss about some frequently used semiconductors in electronic systems. So, let's begin by defining semiconductors. Semiconductors are a special class of elements having a conductivity between that of a good conductor and that of an insulator. In general, semiconductor materials fall into one of the two classes, number one, single crystal semiconductors, and number two, compound semiconductors. Single crystal semiconductors, such as germanium and silicon, have a repetitive crystal structure. Whereas, compound semiconductors, such as gallium arsenide, cadmium sulfide, gallium nitride, and gallium arsenide phosphide, are constructed of two or more semiconductor materials of different atomic structures. The three semiconductors used most frequently in the construction of electronic devices are germanium, silicon, and gallium arsenide. Germanium was used almost exclusively in the first few decades after the discovery of the diode in 1939 and the discovery of transistor in 1947 because germanium was relatively easy to find and was available in fairly large quantities. It was also relatively easy to refine germanium to obtain very high levels of purity, which is an important aspect in the fabrication process. However, it was discovered in the early years that diodes and transistors constructed using germanium as the base material suffered from low levels of reliability due to its sensitivity to changes in temperature. At that time, scientists were aware that another material, silicon, had improved temperature sensitivities than germanium, but the refining process for manufacturing silicon of very high levels of purity was still in the development stages. Finally, however, in 1954, the first silicon transistor was introduced, and silicon quickly became the semiconductor material of choice. Silicon is not only less temperature sensitive, but it is one of the most abundant materials on Earth, which removes any concerns about its availability. The gates now opened to this new material, and the manufacturing and design technology improved steadily through the next years to the current high level of sophistication. Now again, as time moved on, the field of electronics became increasingly sensitive to the issues of speed. Computers were operating at higher and higher speeds, and communication systems were operating at higher levels of performance. A semiconductor material capable of meeting these new needs had to be found. The result was the development of the first gallium arsenide transistor in the early 1970s. This new transistor had speeds of operation up to five times of that of silicon, but silicon transistor networks for most applications were cheaper to manufacture and had the advantage of highly efficient design strategies because of the years of intense design efforts and manufacturing improvements using silicon before this gallium arsenide semiconductors came to market. This brief review of the history of semiconductor materials is not meant to imply that gallium arsenide will soon be the only material appropriate for solid state construction. Germanium devices are still being manufactured, although for a limited range of applications. Even though it is a temperature sensitive semiconductor, it does have application in a limited number of areas because of its availability and low manufacturing costs. Germanium will continue to find its place in product catalogs. As noted earlier, silicon has the benefit of years of development, and it is the leading semiconductor material for electronic components and integrated circuits or ICs. In fact, silicon is still the fundamental building block for Intel's new line of processors. So, we have discussed about semiconductors and their frequent evolution in the electronics industry in very recent years. Thank you.